Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And in this video, we are actually going to take you through the process of how to prevent your food from going bad in your refrigerator. But one of the best things is really um, following what nature does and what nature does best. And it's actually called radiation. See you in a little bit. In this video, we will show you three phases of food preparation during a power outage. Whether this power outage was created by a typhoon or hurricane or a severe snowstorm like the one that hit the middle of America, especially in Texas. Now sit back, relax, and let's have some fun. Now let's go. All right, welcome back. So when we talk about radiation, it's actually not what you think it is. It's not the thing where, you know, something blows up and, you know, everybody dies. It's actually natural. So, heat conduction is actually a form of radiation. Heat and cold, they do the same thing. They conduct um, temperature and it is a form of radiation. I don't know if many of you knew or not, but when it's cold, you still conduct radiation there when you're transferring of heat even though it um, doesn't sound like it. So, as you know, um, we had an issue at, uh, located in Texas and you know some of the other surrounding states as well, they lost power. So when they lost power, the first thing is your food. What happens to your food? Your food will probably go bad if um, there's no electricity. How do you actually prolong that process? And how I prolong the process is really simple. We, I actually used what I already had in the freezer as a tool and also something called an igloo. This is actually um, really a, a ice block and what it does is that when you freeze it, it becomes an ice and a gel in here that actually retains the, the cold a lot um, more efficiently. And what I've done is that in the refrigerator, I actually use these to um, actually make everything colder in the, in the uh, refrigerator. And the things that I have in, in pots and pans, I actually use this and put the pots and pans on top of that. And what it does is that it actually cold cooks it. Yes, there is such a thing as cold cooking. Um, when you have heat, when you need to uh, cook a soup, you simmer, it cooks. Same thing, when you have cold here, put it on top, it actually cold cooks it. Just to give you an example, how many of you have seen a cold, cold stone um, ice cream? What they do is they take the ice cream and they will cold cook it on a slab of, um, I, I don't know what it is, I guess a granite or, or something there. And then they actually prepare their ice cream. This is the same exact concept. So this is the reason why I have a whole bunch of these. I should line the refrigerator where it's needed so that it is really cold and then in the absence of this when I finish using them what I will do is I will actually go into the freezer and take what I have this is um, noodles from um, Costco check that out it's ice and I use this as well and emergency ration I really don't eat much of this but this is already cold Use this as well. Use what you have in the freezer, right? So I will line this up, you know, in the refrigerator. And what I will actually do is actually put them in between uh, the food items. It's almost like a tic-tac-toe where the X's and O are the product. And what I also do is I actually use these. These are um, empty bottles, but I will actually pre-fill them with water from the tap, freeze them put them in there and literally they become um, bottles that radiates the cold and that actually helps us uh, really um, understand how that, that cold transfers over. And what you want, want to know is that once you do that, the refrigerator needs to stay closed. And that is the only way that you could actually make sure that your food you know, stays totally cold and the chances of going bad is slimmer and uh, for those of you who have a temperature gauge I actually do but I can't find it right now but 
I actually put that in a refrigerator to make sure that the temperature doesn't go below a certain point. Um, so that is phase number one. Phase number one is once you, you have that done, don't open it, right? Try not to open it, keep it as cold as you can. Phase number two is really simple. This is it. What you see here, this is a Rubbermaid cooler. And the cooler actually contains um, ice in there where I have um, bottled water ready for consumption um, in there. So I could actually open this item or where I have uh, sandwich meats and bread and things like that in there so that whenever I need to make a meal, I could easily take this um, out and really not worry about that. So that is phase two. Phase two is really to have something frozen uh, that you will probably need to use it once or twice throughout the day. So this way it doesn't impact what you have in the refrigerator. So phase number three is really simple. This type of thing. So this is a Brita um, water filter. You could use whatever you have or if you don't want to use a water filter, which is great, that's fine with us. But this should be used first as a drinking water so that you don't go in here and open up um, the Rubbermaid, uh, the food in there, you know, the water. Um, first thing you should do is deplete what you have here. And those are actually three phases that, you know, as a prepper, we actually use. We use phase one. Phase one is making sure you secure the refrigerator, making sure everything is nice and cold. Um, phase two is something that could be used throughout the day. Uh, so you, you're going to put that in Rubbermaid. And one of the things about Rubbermaid is it is made in 100% in the United States. So those of you who want to um, really um, support a company that um, puts Americans to work, buy Rubbermaid when you can. I do that. And then phase three is really simple. Anything that needs to be used throughout the, throughout the day and literally have it prepared and so that you don't have to touch phase two and phase one. As simple as that. So with that said, for those of you out there who are still prepping or going to be impacted in the future, at least now you know how to secure your food. With that said, we will see you in another one. How much fun was that? And welcome back, my friends, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Please make sure you are subscribed to our channel so you will not miss another fantastic video from our channel. Please also leave a comment or share this video with your social media friends as it will help our channel. With that said, we would like to thank you and we hope that you will have a fantastic and a magical day.